Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and tear down the RC car. I know I said I probably wouldn't have a video on it for a while, but uh, I'm kind of interested in building the body out, you know. So I thought I'd let you guys see the tear down process. For A lot of this stuff is just attached temporarily as far as the battery and the front motor controller or motor. It's just zip tied on, so... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut all those, waste all those zip ties. Well, I'm going to try and cut them to where they're stubbies that are still usable. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tear it down, get ready to start building the rest of it. And then next month or whenever, just whenever I can afford it, I'll get the new controller, which I already took off the old one. And I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but... I did take the entire PCB out of the plastic housing. Like I undid all the glue for the for the wires and everything. Let's see. Yeah. I undid all the glue for the wires that were plugged into the housing and everything and checked actually the MOSFETs and the the diodes and, and everything, the capacitors, all of it. It turned out what was wrong with that uh, controller was the 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 relay the wireless control unit relay it was no longer the electromagnet in it was still working but it what it must have been like so it built up or something you know over amping it and it just wasn't making a connection to put the power out to the to the things so yeah and then while tinkering with it trying to bypass that i wound up blowing a mosfet anyways so yeah it's definitely no good now, but uh, I don't really care. I plan on replacing it with a better, well, one similar, just rated for higher voltage, so less likely to break on me. Yeah. Let's see, can I pull that out with these? Ooh, I can. So that's the little pin that I made to hold the steering in. And let's see, oh, one more zip tie to cut. <clears throat> These are beefy zip ties. And I am a weak person. Unplug the battery. Why wasn't the battery unplugged to begin? I left this thing sit with the battery. Well, there's no, like, frayed ends on the end of this harness, so it doesn't matter. But, yeah. Let's see, and that's... Minus this little washer that also goes under the clip. And that's the motor that steers it. As you can see, I've welded and things around it and some grease there. You know, it's greased and stuff on the inside and it kind of leaks out. Probably have to replace this motor eventually. But, yeah, nothing wrong with it. It's just the housing. I've kind of destroyed bits of it. But yeah, so that's the motor, which I gotta actually permanently button up the little harness on the end of the motor itself, but haven't got around to it yet. Let's see, let's get the battery off, and then after that we will take the wheels off, if I can find the wrench that has the right socket on it. Yeah, I need to clean the workbench. Just built this thing a little while ago, about a week or two ago, maybe something like that. And it's already, you know, heavily used, cluttered, which I had a need for it. It's not even finished. I still need to finish this workbench, but I'm impatient and I built it, got it far long enough to where I could go ahead and start tinkering and working on projects. So, um, trying to figure out a decent way to cut this electric tape. That's another thing. I've lost my roll of electric tape out here somewhere. I need a better workstation even still. Well, I need to finish this one and put the shelves up and all the little stuff. The older I get, the more I realize what I really want out of a good workstation. And it takes time. Sometimes money, sometimes the motivation and energy. When you don't have one, you better hope you have the other. When you don't have money, you gotta have motivation and energy. 
to do it without money and when you don't have motivation and energy you better hope you have money to do it whatever it is it may be and that's just the way the world works or at least that's been my experience all right now we can take the wheels off let's, see, let's set these somewhere where i won't lose them let's set them. Well, I just dropped it. Yep, yep. Okay. Now, let's take these back wheels off. I don't I'm not worried about the front ones just yet. There's one nut. And the washer. Let's loosen up the other one real quick before I go. On and pull that one off. Alright. There's another nut. Oh, there it is. Another washer. Alright. Got that wheel, which, like I said, I'm planning on attaching it better, but also I'm second-guessing using these wheels, these plastic wheels. I might actually wind up getting another set of decent wheels, and then also maybe remaking... At what point do I stop remaking everything out of plastic and making it out of metal? Because in the end of the day, these motors are plastic gearboxes, so... I, they're always going to be plastic unless I completely gutted those and remade them out of metal. Like, when does it stop, basically? When do I say that's good enough? I don't know. I have ADD. I can't stop myself sometimes. This is the one that I had to cut a little bit off of just to make it sit even on the axle because I messed up by like a sixteenth of an inch or so on centering the axle on the frame. But, yeah, it had this lip that sticks up above this bit, so it was fine to just cut that down a little bit. And that's there, and then, oh, i got to unwire the motors. They're wired in parallel right now. But there we go. And this is the motors. This is the, no, this, this is one of them. And it's got metal shavings all over the sides of it right now. They're pretty good. Very, very torquey for what they are. But, uh, yeah. So let's see, let's place that over there, take this one off, oh, move that off. This is the one I caught on fire, just a little bit, barely. Just some of the support structure there on the, that sticks out, kind of melted, that's about it. But yeah, still a perfectly good motor. And these, these two rear motors haven't leaked that much grease out of them. So they're still fine, pretty good. The front one though has been leaking grease out quite a bit, so I feel like, even though there's not really a seal there, because I've dissected these kind of motors before, there's not really a seal or anything to hold the grease in, but if it's continuously leaking it out, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to take it apart and re-grease it at some point if I keep using it. Alright, now let's take the front wheels off. Today, so I just thought I would go ahead and tear this down. I don't know that I'm going to get around to welding anything or working on the body mounts and stuff today, but I'm going to go ahead and tear it down while I've got the energy, and uh, then whenever I feel like doing the rest of it, I can. It's already ready. So that's just the front wheels, and yeah, these used to have those hex bits in them, like shaped like a hex for you know the RC car they came on. I reamed it out. I, I decided the plastic was thick enough that it could be, do with being reamed out a little bit to make it a full circle. It wasn't going to compromise it too much. So, yeah. And then this is 
the only real removable part of the metal framework so far and eventually it won't be removable so eventually there will be a little bit under here that's like it can spin in and it welds to the frame so and then the only removable part will be the steering arm for good reason because I mean that doesn't bend very easily but might remake that at some point to where it looks more center now that I have this one made and I can just measure between it and make one that looks better because that one you know it looks all right but like you know you can see where I had to bend one side over after I made it so yeah looks like a set of handlebars or something for a bike but yeah so it's pretty basic but it works you turn this and you know you've seen it but yeah and then after that is just this which I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and just take this bit off which you could just see is barely on there I didn't really take the time with it, it was all just testing so I don't want that bit because I'm gonna remake the little skid plate I've done enough testing to figure out what I wanted but yeah now, I haven't really taken the time to make every single thing perfectly square with one another on this. Like, the two front axles are not square with each other perfectly. The back ones aren't. Uh, the back, you know. I tried to get it as square as I could with the frame. If that makes sense, I held an actual square up. But as far as, I don't know, everything lining up perfectly with one another, I don't think it does. But that's because there was enough play and everything. I just didn't really care. But yeah, so this motor mount is, or not motor mount, the mo this motor mount's finished except for I've got to uh, sturdy it up and fix that. My welder was sputtering and having some issues that day, so I've got to brace this up a little better on the back and then lay in a piece of metal there and then weld it. I'm not going to gap weld that, I'm just going to put in a piece, that, just a piece of metal and then weld it. Um, and then off of the back of this is where more stuff's going to come and whatnot. But this battery mount is going to come off. So I, and I expected that. That's why I only kind of spotted it on here and there. Because I figured I, this was not a great, I just kind of quick and dirty made this battery mount. Um, and also the motor mount for the front steering motor. I'm going to beef it up. So I'm not going to remove this sunk section because it's, it's on there good. But I'm going to beef it up to where it fully holds the motor pretty good and maybe even has a bolt-on piece that comes over the motor so I don't have to use zip ties anymore but uh, yeah that's pretty much the frame though pretty simple I've taken to calling this thing the beast and uh, that's kinda based on an old rubber band powered dragster car I built when I was in high school and I called it the beast and it was pretty fast and pretty cool and you could stand on it without the the fake like cardboard body and whatnot and when it was with just the base piece of wood that was the part of it you could stand on it and it would still pull you just fine even under rubber band power like I overbuilt the dang thing for what it was so I'm kind of naming this after that because this is like the second kind of car thing about the same size that I've built since then so, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys like the project. It's pretty dang cool in my head, so... That's all. I just wanted to show you the teardown process. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.